Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, welcome back to my Let's Play of No Man's Sky. When I last left off, I was chasing a crashed ship. Seriously, like, it gets further and further away from me the closer I get. I had to leave the atmosphere. Maybe it was a bug. Seems to be working now. Yeah, it looked like looks to be a bug. Okay. So I would chase it down, and there's like 15 minutes left, and then you get down to 10 minutes, and then jump up to 20 minutes. Finally. I swear, if it's another 14 slot ship, I'm gonna be pissed after all that. I clamber into the cargo ship and find out it's black box. As soon as I touch the holographic image of a panicked reptilian traitor appears. Perhaps it's a message for the superior. Perhaps a loved one. It's impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. In its final moments, the traitor seems to point at some freshly installed ship deck before dropping to its knees in despair. Here seems to point at this some freshly installed ship deck. Inspect recently installed ship deck. I discovered the poorly installed tech that caused the crash. I scanned its blueprint and can now what? Sixteen slots. Well, I'll gain one. That'll help. Let's see. I need Thamium 9. Heridium and Iron. Fire, phase coolant. Now, I still like my ship because I have everything I need and the cargo space is what's being used up, but this is used for a lot of upgrades and stuff. So, no, nope, another dud. So, after flying halfway around the damn planet, I came up nothing. here.
Oh, I'm still on the planet's surface. Engine, yeah, here we deflect shields. Okay, 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 good, good, good. This looks like it could bear fruit. It better be undiscovered. It flew halfway around the planet. Enhancement Sigma, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Pop in here. Range, but wait, what was that? Wait a minute. Range boost for what? The multi tool? Oh, yeah. Range boost sigma. Wide shot adapter. Bulk caster shots are granted a wide color of destruction. Reduces movement. No. Oh, wait, I don't really need that. Because. I have all that already. What was I doing? I was making Monday. 
That's what I was doing. Hey, dude. Sir. Friend Gek. Something something oxide. Trader bounces excitedly while it boots up a graph that spins gently in front of me. No. He's gonna want oxide. And I don't have oxide. Three card lines, a plunging blue one, a soaring red one, another one that's fairly flat and uneven yellow. Wait, three colored lines, a plunging blue one, a soaring red one, and another that's fairly flat, uneven yellow. Swallow the life form gavels a little, points to itself, and hops from foot to foot. It seems that it wants to trade items for elements. He has isotopes, he needs silicates and oxides. Can I just say no? Yes I can. Okay, good. So, I need... I need an oxide, okay fine. Iron. Where's iron? Are you iron? Are you iron? What are you? Carbon. Need iron. There's iron everywhere usually. Do I have iron on my ship? Zinc, platinum. Iron, yeah. And I'll do this one too. Oxide. Yay. Aeration memory signal. The user is able to swim underwater for extended periods. Absorbs gases dissolved in water through a membrane constructor that, if a user is conventionally constructed species, is placed over the mouth of a facial breathing hole. Operates automatically once constructed within the user's exosuit inventory. So do I want to go swimming? I need iron. If I want to go swimming. Possibly find another crash ship though. A faint but distant bleeping noise can be heard from the operator's operations terminal. A garbled distress call can be heard amongst it all. Alongside screams and the tearing of metal. The only thing that's clear to me is a brief number sequence. Cracking's code could lead me to a crash site. 2412482240. Okay.